Twitch, the website where everybody wants your money, and there's no better way to exploit that than wearing some pretty revealing clothing and having some weird typicals where you're going to do some squats and then write the tipper's name on your body. Of course, I'm talking about hot tub streamers and titty streamers, whatever you really want to call them. And before you get your panties in a bunch, watch the entirety of this video. I promise I'm only taking up maybe five minutes of your time, and there's actually some points here. And maybe this first 20 seconds you're hearing isn't indicative of my actual full opinion. Alright, let's get into it. So Twitch finally did something about the large influx of hot tub streamers. What's a hot tub streamer, you ask? Well, I'm assuming you've been living under a rock for the past month or two, so let me give you a really quick breakdown. A hot tub streamer is a girl, typically in a bikini, who bought an inflatable hot tub, put it in their house, filled it, and is now streaming that on Twitch. Why would they do that? Because they're wearing a bikini. Do I need to put it in any more broad terms? Okay, I guess I will. They are in revealing clothing. They probably have boobs, being as they are a girl. No better way to prey on horny little boys than to wear a bikini and then hop around in your hot tub. Sometimes they're playing Just Dance. Sometimes they're just talking to people. And sometimes they have a nice little wheel where if you tip a certain amount, they get to do something like squat, write your name on their body, and stuff of that nature. It's basically chatterbait but without the penetration. Why is this an issue? Well, because some people were getting a little bit upset that some women would start hot tub streams and they had to get hundreds of thousands of views, potentially secure the bag, and they really didn't have to do too much for it. Like I said, some of them were playing Just Dance, and I didn't know that Just Dance was optimally played inside of a water-filled container. Some of them are just sitting there doing nothing, and why are they getting views and donations? Because they are a female, they are attractive, they have boobs, they are wearing a bikini. It's pretty simple. If I was a female, I'd be doing the exact same thing. Does the hot tub streamer meta annoy me? Yeah, a little bit. Only because I'm a little bit salty that I can't just exploit something and get a ton of views for it. I'm a decent looking guy. I'm not overtly hot. I'm not jacked or anything like that. I don't have any real prospects. What do I have to bring to Twitch? If I I was a hot girl I would be damn well doing the same exact thing that is my take on it I don't really blame these girls for doing what they're doing and securing the bag some of it's a little shameless sure but I'm sure I'd be doing the same thing and you would too if you were a fucking hot attractive girl and I know that statement might sound a little weird coming from a gamer because it wasn't an overtly sexist comment to make but here we are that's my actual opinion <laughs> I can't really blame the content creator because they're just doing what gets them views and in turn gets them money. I'm really just blaming the community at this point. You guys are the ones that are feeding into this by watching it and donating and tipping and doing whatever the sorts. You're the ones actively making this go on. And it doesn't just go for titty streamers or hot tub streamers. I feel that way about almost every aspect of the media. People who do prank videos on YouTube that are obviously fake. People doing obviously fake ghost videos on YouTube. The vlog channels that just have to one-up each other and do more dangerous shit and are just bad people. I don't like half of those, but can I really blame them? Sure, some of them are shit people and I may not like them as a person, but I guess I can't blame them for securing the bag. That's the same shit I feel in the same way I feel about hot tub streamers. They probably don't have much of a personality. I'm sure some of them are really nice people, but can I really blame them for just using a tool that they have at their disposal to get some notoriety, get some money? Does Twitch enforce the rules fairly and equally? Absolutely not. There are so many situations where a man has gotten banned for something that a woman has done and gotten away with scot-free. And there's plenty of situations where a woman does something that would be a bannable offense, but absolutely no repercussions happen for them. But is that it really an issue with the woman? Not necessarily. It's more of an issue with Twitch and the fact that they suck at enforcing rules and being fair and transparent about it. Do all hot tub streamers and the like deserve to be permabanned off Twitch? Absolutely not. And if you have an issue with that, then you're probably very sexist. Of course, there is some people in the hot tub category, the IRL category, such as some of the yoga people, that are obviously exploiting their sexual nature in order to gain views and donations, tips, subs, whatever you want to call them. Get rid of the people who are obviously breaking the rules and actually enforce the rules fairly and equally and actually be transparent about it. At the core of all of these situations, it's really just an issue with Twitch. Now with that being said, let's take a look at a couple of these streams and just kind of poke fun at it. 
Like, you could argue both ways for this stream. Yeah, she's doing yoga right here, but come on, that camera is pointed straight at her ass. And when she's not doing yoga, she's bent over ever so slightly while sitting on the map so that you kind of see some cleavage there. Is that a fault with her? Not necessarily. Maybe she really likes that shirt, and maybe she's just really bad at camera placement. I can't necessarily blame her. I could argue this one of both ways, but whatever. I, I guess 600 people like watching this. Yep, and here's one of the streams here, where it's like, she's playing Just Dance, which is a, a fun game in and of itself, but she's in a hot tub, so obviously she's wearing a bikini, and I'm gonna be blurring half of this because I don't trust YouTube to not demonetize me for this, but she's wearing a bikini, obviously showing a little bit more skin because it's a bikini, but she's playing Just Dance, but she's also in a hot tub, so it's justified to wear the bikini. She's also got the wheel in the background, so, you know, donate enough or get a sub or whatever, and you can change your bikini, get some squats and this. Obviously, it's exploitive, but, like, is it an issue with her or not? necessarily I do the same shit if I was hot man here we go yet another one what is she bringing to the table I don't really know what the conversation at hand is but there's a wheel in the background so get some squats get some bikini changes or whatever I'm too lazy to read it she's in a hot tub so the bikini's justified is it exploitative of the system sure is it an issue with her not necessarily again I would do the same shit if I was a hot girl yeah, so, like I, like, I don't get these streams at all, but, like, I, <laughs> she wins the whole category. This is the best hot tub stream I've ever seen. Nothing will compare to this. This, <laughs> this is it. Like, here's another one. Like, I want to play Just Dance, but I also kind of want to exploit the system, so I'm going to put a hot tub in my living room so this shit can jiggle. I can't imagine dancing inside of water is very fun, but here we are. What does this person bring to the table? I really don't know, but I can't blame them for it. I blame the system. Guys, if you're down this bad, just go watch porn. So all in all, some of the people here are just exploiting a kind of broken system and they're profiting from it. Some people are genuinely breaking rules, and of course get rid of those that are breaking the rules. But I'm not a Twitch mod, I'm not a member of Twitch, so I'm not going to be the one to make the decision here. Don't take the last minute or two out of context, I'm just kind of poking fun at the whole situation. You already heard my opinions on the situation. While it's something I wouldn't personally partake in, and to me it's dumb and stupid, I can see why people do it. Sex sells, and this is obviously just another affirmation of that point. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found at least maybe something funny. I don't know. But uh, again, let me know what you guys think. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheerio, mates.